All right, we're back, and uh, this is the part four and final part on the electrified Aladdins, and uh, we're going to look at the um, Aladdin burner, the electric burners, and I've got two here, one that's just a, a plain burner without the um, a nightlight attachment, and um, I believe these are based off of the um, Chinese made Model 23 burners. That's the way they look. It's got a, it looks like a Model 23 um, gallery here. And um, so if you get this style gallery and put on there, you clip it on there. It's going to be hard to get your light bulb in there. So what I like to do is, it's real easy to find um, Model 12 slash Model B galleries that are messed up, let's put it. And you can do a little bit of, I wouldn't, wouldn't dare uh, mess with one like the, in this kind of shape. That's that's in good, decent, usable condition. But this one, eh, it's pretty questionable. And it's you see, it's dented and smashed up a bit. So it's relatively easy to remove the air baffle and the um, uh, cone and. Then you end up with with that, and that's uh, big enough that when you go to screw your light bulb in, it goes down in there quite a ways, and it won't won't hang up. And I'm pretty sure a glass light bulb would neck down a little bit more than than this does, but it probably wouldn't neck down enough to. Uh, insert correctly they do make a light bulb that's out on the market that is small enough to fit in there that you can then put um, a mantle on over it and make it look more authentic but uh, for most practical purposes it's not worth it to waste your time doing that unless you're a, you're really a fanatic it's easier just to, um, there's so many of these that are beat up that aren't really salvageable that it's worth the time to, um, just pop them apart. And they're, um, not too hard to take apart. You see those little dimples there? That's how they're, that's how they're held together is they're just, um, they were punched with a machine that dimples them and that's how they're, uh, that's how those extra stampings are held in there. So you can take a small screwdriver or something, pry those, pry those inner pieces out and pull them out, then you're left with this. And since you're going to be using a lampshade anyway, it doesn't really matter if the, um, if the gallery's banged up there where the uh, mantle would attach, because you're not going to be using a mantle. So... Please save the nice mantle, uh, save the nice galleries for uh, lamps that you're actually going to um, burn, and keep those with your uh, regular burners, and use the stuff that's beat up that'd be passed over for actual use in a burning lamp, and cobble those up for use on the electric burners. Um, do us all a favor, please. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting on my soapbox here. It is my soapbox! <laughs> no, but seriously, yeah, don't destroy good parts. If something's pretty well messed up, like nothing, uh, nothing uh, is worse than um, like that first lamp I bought with the Model 12 burner had real nice smooth um, gearing for the wick razor worked real well it's really difficult to find um, 
or maybe not difficult, but it, it can sometimes be annoying. Uh, you'll buy a, uh, what looks like a really good model 12 burner and, um, turns out it's, the gearing is messed up because the, um, the forces needed to, um, move the wick up and down sometimes places a lot of strain on that gearing. And if someone tries to force it, especially if the lamp's been sitting for a while and everything is, um, gummed up, you'll, you'll damage those gears and then it'll bind on you. So, if you've got a, a burner that works real nice and smooth and the wick riser doesn't have um, bent teeth or anything in the gearing, please don't cobble it up. This stuff right here though, if you want to cobble stuff like this that's, that's pretty messed up, go right ahead. It is fair game. But stuff like this, no. Don't you dare touch it. This this is in good usable condition and it it looks nice. And yeah, I know they're reproducing the model model twelve slash B galleries again, but they're still they're like thirty five to forty dollars a piece. You can usually buy a whole Model B burner with the gallery for that much, and it'll be an original, and, and generally you can get one that's in nice condition. Although I will say that the nickel-plated ones command higher prices than the brass ones, and, and rightly so, they, uh, they stand up the time better. Um, I don't think Aladdin is making them. I think they're made by a third party now, but there are people making um, electric... Uh, burners based off the uh, Model B stampings instead of the Model uh, 23 stampings like this is. So if you want something that looks a little bit more period correct for your lamp, you can get those. And um, I want to say they run somewhere in the neighborhood of 40 to $50, plus or minus. Uh, so that is an option, especially if you get one in nickel. It's definitely going to be plus. So that's an option. These, I picked both of these up at antique shops for you know, probably less than $15. I don't remember exactly. And then um, they were both the same, so I converted this one to uh, have the uh, night light. You just need the correct uh, lamp holder with the extra uh, screw terminal. And then you just route the wires down through the um, mounting hickey. These come apart real simple. There's not really much to them. And then the, uh, the screw threads are the same as the screw threads on the uh, Model B burner. So it's real easy to um, electrify any lamp and you don't have to do what I've seen some people do which is totally ruin the fonts by drilling holes and other nonsense or ruining perfectly good burners so alright so this is the conclusion of uh, part four of four of electrified Aladdin's and um, thank you for watching please do not cobble up good parts we're going we're to end the video on that note if I find out you've been cobbling up good parts I know where you live so thank you for watching